Hello everyone. Today I'm going to answer a question that students always ask me. Which exam board to choose? So should you take Cambridge or should you take Edexcel for your biology or chemistry, IGCSE or A level? I'm going to make a comparison between the two exam boards. I'm going to try to help you to choose which one suits you better. I'll start here by telling you all of the advantages of taking Cambridge as your exam board. I'll do the same thing for Edexcel, and then we will come up with a decision on which exam board to take. Now, with Cambridge exams, we have one great advantage. Cambridge exams have been around for 37 years. You notice this in the number of past papers that they publish. For each exam session, Cambridge publishes three exam papers, paper two, paper four, and paper six. Now, having three exam papers for each exam session and having three variants of each exam paper, this means that you're having a lot and a lot of past papers to solve. This allows you to do a lot of practice. And the more you practice, the more likely that you will receive an exam question that is similar to one that you've already solved. So many students solve a past paper and they find something very similar in their actual exam. So this is quite very helpful. Another reason why you should consider Cambridge as your exam board is the fact that they are quite lenient with their marking. So usually the marking of exam papers by Cambridge examiners is quite more flexible than that you have with Edexcel. If you understand the concept and you write the answer in your own words, unless you're missing out some of the key terms. So as long as you're having those key terms and you're having the concept written in your answer, you will always get the right answer. So this helps a lot because so many students don't like to memorize the actual answer with every single detail and gives you more room to understand the concept rather than just memorizing things by heart. Another reason why you should consider Cambridge as your exam board for IGCSE is the fact that Cambridge offers three exam papers per session. So let's take a look at the distribution of marks in Cambridge. You have paper two, which is worth 30%, you have paper four, which is worth 50%, and you have paper six that is worth 20%. Now, let's say someone didn't do well on paper four. Paper four like is 50%, half of the percentage of your overall, but still you have room to improve in paper two and you have room to improve in paper six. Now, this is not really the case when it comes to Edexcel because with Edexcel, you only have two exam papers. The majority of marks are on paper one. If someone didn't do well on paper one, which is worth 61%, then he or she has very little room to improve in paper two. So the fact that you have three exam papers in Cambridge does really help those that want to improve the mark, those that didn't do well on one exam paper. If you're one of those who would be more involved in science in the future, Cambridge gives you a better chance to develop your scientific skills. The curriculum and the type of questions are designed to improve your critical thinking and practical skills. For example, there is a practical exam that you have to take for AS, biology, chemistry, or even for physics. This is not the case with Edexcel exams where they only offer alternative to practicals. So if you are thinking of any scientific career, I would always recommend Cambridge as your exam board because this would help you to become a better scientist right at the beginning. Why should you consider Edexcel as your exam board for IGCSE or A-levels? The main reason why students take Edexcel because the specification is quite shorter. There are fewer details in the Edexcel syllabus compared to Cambridge. So now if you put the specifications side by side, you'll find there are fewer chapters in the Edexcel specification for biology or chemistry than that of Cambridge. But this is no longer the case because Cambridge have actually updated their specification and they made it quite similar to that of Edexcel. So if you're taking your exams in 2023 onwards, Cambridge and Edexcel, there are no longer differences in their specification in terms of the length and the number of chapters. Another reason why students take Edexcel as their exam board is the fact that the questions are slightly easier in Edexcel than those of Cambridge. So you do get questions where you just have to define a gene or define a compound in chemistry. Those questions are straight forward. You don't have to think much. These are guaranteed marks that you can always take if you just memorize the content of your syllabus. These questions come very often in paper one, biology and chemistry, and paper one weighs 60% of your overall. So this 60% becomes very easy to get if you just memorize the content. 
Another reason why so many A-level students take Edexcel as their exam board is the fact that Edexcel doesn't have an actual practical exam. So Unit 3 and Unit 6 exams are written exams. You don't have to go into a lab and do actual experiments. This is not the case with Cambridge because Cambridge, there is Paper 3, which is called the Advanced Practical Skills. With the Advanced Practical Skills, you would actually have to go into a school lab and plan investigations based on your your exam questions. Now, these exams are not really that difficult, but if you're a private candidate, then you can't really do those exams in a school because you simply don't join a school in this case. The only option you have is to do the Edexcel exams. The number one reason why students take Edexcel for their A-levels is the fact that Edexcel gives you the chance to repeat individual units. Now, A-level biology is six units, and so is A-level chemistry. If you didn't do well in one unit, now, this is one of my students, he didn't do well the first time in unit four, but then he had the chance to repeat this unit, he scored 118 out of 120, and that helped him to score an overall A-star in biology. Now, with Cambridge, you don't have this option, because if you didn't do well in any of the exam papers, then the only way to improve your grade is to repeat the entire subject. So that makes it very difficult, especially if you're just about to graduate. You're going to have to repeat the entire subject in order to improve your grade. Before we get to the final verdict on which exam board to take, I'm going to leave the link in the description to my website where you have resources for both exam boards. So you have notes, past papers, solve past papers, in addition to lectures that cover every single topic of your specification. It's now the time to make your final verdict. Which exam board to choose? Are you going to take Cambridge or are you going to take Edexcel? Let's make a comparison and then you can make your own decision. In terms of the number of exam sessions per year, both exam boards offer the same number of sessions. Edexcel used to offer three sessions per year, but is no longer the case. Now you only have two sessions, one in the summer, May and June, and one in October, November. The number of exam papers, Cambridge has three exam papers. And as we said, this gives you more room for improvement if you didn't do well on one of the exams. But Edexcel only offers two papers per exam session. In terms of difficulty, Cambridge exams tend to be less direct, meaning the questions would rely on analysis and explanation, and they're not very direct the way they are in Edexcel. In terms of marking of the exam, Cambridge examiners tend to be more lenient, meaning they will only be looking at the concept rather than looking at specific keywords to give you the mark of the question. Resources of Cambridge are way more than those of Edexcel. So if you're someone who would like to practice and solve a lot of exam past papers, then Cambridge should be your choice. In terms of A-levels, Cambridge will not allow you to repeat individual components. This is the case of Edexcel. With Edexcel, you can possibly repeat units, specific units that you didn't do well and improve your overall grade. Now, in terms of content, the content have become very similar, especially after the latest update of the syllabus of Cambridge. Now, my recommendation, if you're someone who's taking science in the future, following a science career, becoming a medical doctor or something, then I would strongly recommend to take IGCSE Cambridge. Now, if you're someone who's private candidate, then you should take Edexcel for your A-levels. And it's always based on your preference and based on your school, because many schools do not allow you to take any other exam board other than the ones that they have decided for you.